talk about love, shall we? Let's get into some magic. Love, 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 love oh, yes. Um, I just did a friend show, actually, Bishop Brian, a Catholic priest, and he talked about love, how we only have like one word for it in the English language, love. And it could be passionate love for your lover. It could be love for your kid. It could be the way you love your dog. It could be the way you love chocolate. And we don't have enough words for it. Other languages have many, many words for it, but we don't. But we do have a mystery attached to it, a mystery attached to it. So this, today's love we're going to talk about is romantic love because it's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. So those of you who have somebody that you're with, just crank it up. Crank it up. If you've been together a week, a month, a year, 10 years, 20 years, just remember why you're with them once in a while because we all kind of fall into habits and we all kind of fall into roads. Do something different. Shock yourself. Shock them. Even if your relationship's good, it could be better. If your better is great, it could be phenomenal. If it's not so good, just it's Valentine's week. Crank it up. Do something crazy. You know, open the door naked. You know, eat dinner on the floor. Do something fun. Just because, because you're lucky to have somebody. And if you don't have somebody, um, let's look at that. Number one, don't be mad at yourself because you're perfect just as you are. And don't decide that you need to have somebody to make you happy. Get happy and then you have get somebody to share it with you. That is what I teach. That is what Patty teaches in my, my classes, what I do with Merle and my classes at the school. Love magic. No one will make you happy. You make you happy and then you find someone to share it with. And so if you, those of you who are looking for someone to share it with, romance begets romance. Love begets love. Um, look at your life right now. Is there really room for somebody in it? You say you want it. You go on the apps and you hate the apps. So you go out and you don't go out. Oh, it's COVID. We have every excuse in the world, but no excuse really is good because you could always work around it. So look at, are you really avoiding it? Are you really going out there to get it? So look around where you live. Is there room for love in your home, in your house? Whether you brought them home or not, is your bedroom set up to bring somebody home to? Or is it cluttered and stacked up with stuff and you can't even get to anything? That's not calling in romance. Is your bedroom romantic? Even if it's just for you, romance starts with you. Love yourself and then you can love others. So Bring that into your life every day. Even if you're eating by yourself, even if you're just sitting in front of the TV and you're eating a, you know, a lean cuisine dinner, light a candle, sit back, step, have a romantic dinner all by yourself. Maybe turn off the TV for a minute, turn on some music, get to know yourself. Love begets love begets love. I see it every single day and people go, no, I really want somebody. But if there's not room in your house, if there's not even room in your car. Guess what? There's not room in your brain. There's not room in your head. And if there's not room in your head, then there's not room in your heart and you get more and more closed up. So be romantic with yourself. Dress for love, even if you're not going out, but go out, um, make room in your house, make room is there room in your closet for somebody else's clothes? As weird as that sounds. Is there room in your bathroom cabinet for somebody else to put their toothbrush? That counts. Is your kitchen something that I want to cook somebody dinner or I want somebody to cook me dinner? I promise you, start doing all of these things. Start thinking love, thinking about yourself with love and the universe, God, gods, whatever it is that you believe in will go, oh, this person's ready for love. Not sitting here complaining in your sweats going, I wish I had love. There's no good guys. There's nobody good in my city. Everybody's gay in my city. Everybody's too old or married in my city. That's not going to bling you somebody. That This is magic at its simplest. Remember, spell working is creation working dispatch. Psychology is it's mind, body, spirit. So bring love into your life. Wear lovey underpants. You know, I'm big on underpants, you guys. What color is love to you? Wear that color of panties in the morning. It's putting on those lower chakras and you're going to be that much more lovey when you go out. Light candles. Bring yourself flowers. Flowers are the highest vibration of flowers. They bring in love. Put on your perfume. Put on your oils. Um, girls, guys, doesn't matter. Love. It's worth it. It's hard. It's not perfect. I mean, I can go into 14 song titles now, 
Love is all you need. Love makes the world go along. Love is all there is. So you guys, it's Valentine's week. If you don't have somebody to share it with, share it with a friend. Maybe you, somebody else doesn't. Maybe there's even an elderly person down the street who could, their person's deceased and gone or they never had it. So make it about love. And if you're looking for somebody, make sure you're looking for somebody that you really have room for them. And if you're with somebody, dang it, crank it up just cause. That's it for today. Thank you for joining the witching hour. Mm -hmm.